everybody in this video we instruct you guys how to conduct for the hypothesis testing including for the z test and t test on one sample based on the result of sbs so i believe this will be the first time you guys I'm, I'm 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 not sure but like most of you guys the majority of you guys will feel like unfamiliar with sbs and this could be the interface of SPSS after you already run it and just open it on. And for this example, I will go into you for the data sets of the GOP test. Actually, this could be just a kind of like simplified section, a simplified version of the hypothesis sigma non data sets. And with here, we have already 50 observation. Okay. Now, I will show you how to just input the data into SBNS. So first of all, you go into file and then go into open and you open for the data. Okay, now it's supposed to be your work to just allocate for the working directories into where you save for the data. So for example, with me, I save my data into this folder okay and over here you see nothing because that remember for this file that cp will be microsoft excel worksheet so it's not a sbs statistic file so you change for the ties of the file into excel okay actually over here it will be more than that you can just download and copy for the data from like sas or from data from other kinds of form but however, I use to go over here will be like Excel. And you see that should be available here for the go test. Okay. And I open. So to this one, they will uh, clarify everything will be like into the data. And they clarify about that. This the variable name from the first round data. Does it be correct? And then my data from the A1 into A51. And I say OK. So you see this over here. We have a two. This is the data view. And this will be variable view. The problem will be like we have the variable of YAR. Uh, yeah, that should be totally correct over here if you open it on and remember about the formats of the data. So it has the YAR. But however, it also have V2, V3, V4, and V5. That's mean variable 5 and 2, 2 into 5. And that's not correct. So I go back into the variable view and just simply delete them. Okay. Simply just go and delete them. Okay. Or you can go to data view and you select from V, sorry. V2, V3, V4, V5, and then you cut or clear, whatever. Okay. I have already clear, but cut it. And here in the variable view, that's been already clear. So with the variable yard, the time name will be numbered, of course. And the width could be like 12. That's mean we can make it up to 12 digits before these uh, decimal. And one decimal be five. After that, you see why we have this zero here, right? Okay. And uh, for other things like we don't have the missing values, we allies into the right or the left. That should be up to you. And this could be the measure. Very important. Remember, because that for SPSS they don't understand about the other types of like categorical variable in like text data. So we have to clarify this will be ordinal, nominal, or scale. Okay. And thus will be finished. So first of all, I'm go and analyze and conduct for the descriptive statistic. I go into analyze bottom. And we have the descriptive statistic over here. The thing I want to do will be click on the descriptive. So they will suggest for me some kinds of variable I want to include for the analysis. Here, I just have a YAR, so I just import them into the variable. For some option, I'm going to just click on 
mean standard deviation minimum maximum i want to see for variant two if i want to see like ran twos a standard error of the mean two kustosis and skewness whatever and i you click ok continue and say ok so very quick we will have the document output over here that represent about everything including for the number of the observation the rands right the different between the mean and the maximum the mean values right standard deviation of the sample variant of the sample skewness and kurtosis okay now let's go back into the main thing i want to go into just conduct for the z test okay the z test for the sample remember about the example of this one they already provide that this would be for the z test right and this is could be the data uh, try to just get the assumption about the population standard deviation have been none with the standard deviation will be 12 and level of significance will be 0 0.05 we want to just conduct for the hypothesis testing by the non hypothesis that's the mean of the population equal to 295 and the alternative hypothesis could be mean of the population will be different to 295 okay so that's what we're gonna just do with that okay how can we run for that unfortunately when we go into the compare mean option of the analysis tool hat we don't have the z test we just have the t test and that's what we got i'm going to just show you right after that but we don't have the t test so we have to run for some code however you guys are not kind of programming aspect right and i feel like you can feel it's very kind of challenging with you for the next place i already create for the scene test and also for the coding over here the thing will be like you have just execute it and modify the code very quick and I'm pretty sure that you guys can do it easily. So how are we gonna do it? So we input for the syntax by open, and then we open for the syntax. Okay. Oh, you can go and create for new syntax. Right. Just wait over here. This will be the syntax editor interface. So copy all of my coding. Okay. Copy all of my coding. I will provide you guys this file. Don't worry. Okay. And then copy it all and paste it over here. Okay. The only thing you have to change would be the number. Over here, I already create for some kind of explanation about my syntax. And first number would be 35 over here would be the sample size. You have to change it to match it with the result. So the sample size over here will be 50, remember? Okay, so if that would be 50, I will just make it quicker and make it smaller. Okay, so quicker, I would do it like with the syntax. Would be here 50. Okay, another thing, the second number would be the sample mean. Sample mean over here, we already calculated. That would be 297.6 okay the third values does will be the hypothesized values and we try to just clarify it with the hypothesis number of the 295 right remember last one population standard deviation 12 instead of 15 in default and that will be everything you have to do okay you already change for the number of input variable and the thing will be like now you have to go and click run and run all okay so you see over here we have the z statistic that should be the z number that's totally the same with what we do on excel before and p values over here that should be for the two side that should be 12 0.12551 and totally the same with what we already done before with this one they will be larger than 0 0.05 and you can reject for the hypothesis the non hypothesis and just accept for the uh, sorry uh, you fail to reject for the non hypothesis and you still cannot reject it you still have to accept it all right 
Okay, now let's continue with the another example in which we go and just use this for the second database. This will be the R rating. And to be honest, this will be totally the same with what we do with the hypothesis sigma unknown example before. Okay, so we have uh, about 60 observation. Now, let's go and import for the data from that. Now you can easily do it, right? Go into the same folder and then open it on and you see for the Kylai air rating open it on and you just click OK so you have the data already and this will be the time for you to run everything into the analysis with the t-test so you go into compare mean in the analysis button and you have the one sample t-test you select for the variable click on and specific about the test value over here I will just run for the two tails t-test and the values will be seven. I click option, and you can clarify about the consistent of the interval percentage, but you, we don't really need this one. And I click OK. So you got the result over here, right? You got the result directly from the t test, okay? And you have the significant level. This will be for two tails, and this will be how we run for the t test on SPSS. Thank you so much.